Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x minus 4 cubed equals to minus 8 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here we need to focus on the exponent of this term. So the highest exponent of this term is 3. It means that this equation has 3 roots. So now we need to find all the 3 roots of this equation. So here the very first step we are going to do is first we need to focus in the right hand side and uh, we write it as x minus 4 whole cubed equals to we write this 8 into the prime factor form so the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and after that we need to move this minus 2 cubed from right hand side to the left hand side so it will becomes here x minus 4 cubed so this is negative terms become here positive we write it as plus 2 cubed and this is equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here we need to use a cubic formula you know that uh, if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square okay so uh, this is the our cubic formula we need above so uh, if you see here the base of this term is equals to a and the base of this term is equals to b it means that our a is x minus 4 and our b is 2 only we need to substitute these two values of a and b in the right hand side of the below formula so we write it as first you have the factor is a plus b the value of a is x minus 4 plus the value of b is 2 into this is a square the value of a is x minus 4 square minus a b again we have the value of a is x minus 4 into the value of b is 2 and plus b square the value of b is 2 square and this is equals to 0 so here we need more simplifications on this uh, equation so first we need to uh, apply here the as another square identity you know that if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square here we need to apply this nice square identity on this term only so that we write our above equation as in this form so first you have uh, x minus 4 plus 2 so minus 4 plus 2 equals to minus 2 into here we need to use this nice formula on this term and it will be written as x square minus 2 times of a b so here our a is x and b is 4 and plus b square so b is uh, 4 square and here we multiply this minus 2 on these two terms and it will be written as minus 2x plus 4 to the 8 and this 2 square equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. So after this step here we have we need more simplifications on this equation so that uh, we have this is x minus 2 times of uh, x square so 2 times of 4 becomes 8x and thus 4 square equals to 16 minus 2x and 8 plus 4 becomes 12 and this whole equals to 0. So further uh, here we need to add or subtract the like terms so that we have the like terms are x minus 2 times of uh, x square so the like terms are this is 8x and 2x minus 8x minus 2x becomes minus 10x 16 plus 12 equals to 28 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step you see here this equation will become in quadratic form and now we need to convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we write x minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is if we write this quadratic equation equals to 0 this is x square minus 10x plus 28 equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of x equals to 2 and now in order to find the other roots of the given equation we need to solve this quadratic equation 
so that here we can apply the uh, quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 10 and c is equals to 28 and we know about uh, the quadratic formula it is stated as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula uh, and now here further we need more simplification so that now first we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as x equals to minus b the value of b is minus 10 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 28 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step here we need more simplification and it will be written as x equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 10 and plus minus square root of minus 10 square and we know that minus 10 square equals to 100 minus 4 times of 28 equals to 112 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So here further we need more simplifications and we write uh, this equation as x is equals to 10 plus minus we know that 100 minus 12 100 minus 112 equals to minus 12 and it is divided by 2. So here we uh, rewrite this equation as here we need to set, we need to apply this square root on negative term and 12 as well so we write it as 10 plus minus square root of 12 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and now in the next step here we uh, need more simplification and we write it as x equals to 10 plus minus we write this uh, 12 as 4 times of 3 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step we have uh, x is equals to 10 plus minus uh, this is a square root of 4 equals to 2 into square root of 3 into iota and now here we need to break this fraction so we divide these two on separately on both of these terms okay so uh, we write it as 2 5 the 10 these two is cancelled out by these two and finally we get the other two complex roots of the given equation are 5 plus minus uh, square root of 3 into iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and its one real root is x is equals to 2 this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos